What's up, everybody? How you doing? All right. Well, it's good to be here tonight. My name is David Otunga. For those of you guys who don't know me, I'm a WWE wrestler and also an actor. I uh, just started the movie The Call, co-starring Halle Berry. It's out on DVD right now. Not only is it out on DVD, it's the number one DVD in the country. Just had to say that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Anyway, I want to welcome you to the premiere of Bounce Back, the Ronnie Field story. Yeah, come on. Come on. Give it up. There you go. There you go. And I want to thank Park Community Church for hosting the event. Now, how many of you out there are on social media? Twitter, Facebook? Yeah, no, I know, I know that's everybody in here. I'm on Twitter all the time. Anyway, I say that because we encourage you to please tweet tonight about the film. Any pictures you want, please post them and use the hashtag bounce back. So please do that. I'm going to be checking them, retweeting. You guys can tweet me if you want. You can follow me too, at David Otunga. Try not to plug myself, but you know. Um, but anyway, I'm so happy to be here, to be a part of this. And I want to tell you a little bit about how I became involved with this project. So... I'm from Elgin, Illinois. Grew up not too far from here. And, you know, yeah, there you go. A couple people from Elgin. All right, all right. E-Town love. Um, anyway, as you guys know, growing up in the 90s here, man, who wasn't a basketball fan, especially a Chicago Bulls fan in Chicago, you know? It's okay. You can give it to them. I mean, this is Chicago, the greatest dynasty of all time. Um, anyway, so basketball was life for me as a kid. I remember just spending days and nights on the basketball court with my friends. We would go to the gym. All we did was play. And, you know, the talk always got to be, oh, man, I'm going to be Jordan, you know. Uh, I'm going to be Pippen, whatever. Then we got to talking, who's going to be the next Michael Jordan? Oh, man, I don't know. You know, there was this story we used to hear about this kid in high school who just had this incredible vertical. This dude could jump out of the gym. And I remember the stories almost started off like, kind of like legends. Like I heard about this kid and they said, from the time he was in seventh grade, like he, used, he challenged Michael Jordan to a dunk contest. Like what, in seventh grade, can you even dunk? No, this kid was serious and his name was Ronnie Fields. And I remember like we would see little news clips, little, little clips of a basketball game on the news of these just awesome dunks and amazing moves. And this guy was doing them and he was in high school. And better yet, he was from Illinois. So it was like, okay, not only do we have Michael Jordan, but we got the guy who's going to be the heir apparent, the next one, right? So I remember just being so excited about him. And also in Illinois, a powerhouse school was Peoria Manual with Sergio McLean, Marcus Griffin, Frank Williams. Anyway, I heard this story this one time, and uh, I never knew if it was true. You know, this is the days before YouTube and all that, so you couldn't just look something up. But I heard that one time, Ronnie jumped over Sergio McLean and dunked on him. And we, yes, Danville, there you go. Well, we talked about it, and we didn't know if it was like a legend. You know, people just said that, you know, because he was so amazing. We don't know if it's true or not. Now, I mentioned to you that I was an attorney. Uh, I graduated from Harvard Law School. But before that, I went to the University of Illinois home of the Fighting Illini, and while I was there, thank you, thank you, somebody's an Illini fan here, okay, all right, all right. Anyway, um, while I was there, I ended up taking a Swahili class. My dad was Kenyan, and he spoke Swahili, and I was like, you know, I want to learn Swahili too. Well, also in my class happened to be Sergio McLean, Marcus Griffin, and Frank Williams, right? The, the class was supposed to be easy, so they had a lot of athletes in there trying to boost their GPA. I mean, that's obviously not why I was in there, uh, but it didn't hurt. Anyway, Sergio walked around like he ran the place. And I mean, he was. You know, they were on the basketball team there, and they were very, very popular. There were some football players in there, too. And one day, this one guy wanted to knock Sergio down a peg, and uh, he brought up Ronnie Fields and this dunk. And I was like, whoa, I can't believe this. Like, I'm sitting right here, and uh, they're talking about this. And you could just see it on Sergio's face, and he's like, yeah, man, you know, he got me one time, and then he started telling the story. I'm like, this is awesome. Like, I'm hearing this story firsthand from Sergio McClain. Marcus Griffin's right here, Frank Williams. And Sergio said how, you know, they knew the game was coming up, and, uh, you know, people were kind of teasing them, like, hey, man, what y'all going to do? Who's going to guard Ronnie? 
And they were like, oh, man, we got this, we got this. And I actually think it might have been Frank Williams' assignment. So that's why he was pretty quiet during the story. And Sergio made sure to point it out because he was a forward. He's like, well, I wasn't checking him, but I already told him, you know, if he comes over near me, I'm going to take care of him. So anyway, he was telling the story, and he says, uh, you know, here comes Ronnie. He's coming down the wing with the ball and beats his man, of course. So Sergio has to rotate over to try to stop him. Now here comes Ronnie going for the rim. So Sergio says he goes to take off, and Ronnie's still on, on the ground. He goes to jump. Next thing he knows, Ronnie's legs are right here, going past his head. And he said, I, I couldn't, it was like he literally flew. And he said, next thing I know, I was like, is this dude jumping over my head? Yep. <laughs> Boom, right there. And he said it was the most embarrassing thing, and he got caught looking. But it was, that was one of the coolest stories I ever heard, you know, coming up. And it was awesome to hear it firsthand. <laughs> and, to, and to his credit, Sergio did say, he was like, you know, that's just God-given talent. There was nothing I could do. So that was, that was pretty cool of him. Um, like I said, I just finished filming the movie The Call with Halle Berry. And in that movie, I play a police officer, and Morris Chestnut is my partner. So, oh, thank you. Okay, all right. I assume that was for Morris, but uh, I'll accept it. Anyway, we spent a lot of time in the police car, you know, just talking about basketball. And, uh, you know, the Olympics were going on. This was last summer. So we talked about basketball all the time. And, you know, he got to talking about, uh, you know, the best dunkers of all time, this and that. Obviously, Jordan we threw out there, you know, Dominique, uh, you know, Dr. J, the usuals. And I said, oh, okay, all right. I got somebody who can hang with any of them I bet you never thought of. And he's like, who? And I was like, man, there was this dude coming up. His name was Ronnie Fields. And he's like, whoa, he's like, I know who that is, the dude from Illinois. And I was like, yeah. We just started talking, man, just lost and started talking about that. He was so excited. And I was like, man, that's so cool that you know who Ronnie Fields is, you know, and you're this big name actor. I'm just happy to be sitting next to you starting in my first movie. But that's so cool. Um, anyway, I had become friends with Thatcher, who produced the film. And I told him, I was like, well, you know, one of my buddies He's actually producing this film. You know, he, he's made this film about Ronnie. It's awesome, man. I was like, you got to come check it out. So he was really excited. He sends his best and says he can't wait to check it out, too. So without that, I now want to tell you about, um, you know, giving back. This is a big part of the film. And a great way, if you're looking to give back, is to get involved with the By the Hand Club for kids. So at this time, I would like to welcome... Erica Johnson to tell you about how you guys can get involved. Hello, everyone. My name is Erica Johnson, and I have two questions for you. Number one, are you excited to be here tonight? Oh, you got to give me more than that. This is Chicago. This is Ronnie Fields. This is Taste Media Group. All right. Well, I too am excited because I am up here representing By the Hand Club for Kids, an amazing faith-based organization that ministers to the entire child, mind, body, and soul. I mean, we take our kids literally by the hand, beginning from even as early as first grade and walking with them all the way through college. Some of the students are in the audience right now. So um, if you get a chance throughout the night, come over and say hi to them and meet them a little bit. And um, our students, they represent Little Running Fields. We have some boys in the audience right now that I'm telling you, if you were to ask them on any given day about their skills in basketball, hands down, they'll tell you they're certified ball players and they're going to the NBA next week or they have enough skills to do that. <laughs> so that leads me to my second question. Can you say that you are a part of the solution in helping Kids reach their full potential? You are? Okay. Some of you said yes and others maybe not. Well, By the Hand Club is that organization that can help you to do that. We're going to have a table after um, the program right at the back. Come by, see us, and meet some of our kids and find out what it means to be a part of the solution. Thank you.
Thank you so much, Erica. All right, are you guys ready? You ready to see it? All right, come on. The moment we've all been waiting for, bounce back, the Ronnie Field story. What'd you guys think of the film? Yeah, yeah, pretty cool, right? Definitely good. Uh, I didn't say this before, but I definitely want to say this. Um, you got to be a pretty bad dude if you have a 15-time NBA All-Star on your team and you're the guy everybody remembers from it, that's one bad dude, Ronnie Fields. Now, all right, at this time, why don't we hear from the man himself? So I'd like to call up Ronnie Fields. All right, everybody, thank you again for coming out, checking out the film. And uh, Ronnie's going to be up here meeting people. I'm going to be up here meeting people. So please come up. And once again, thank you so much.